Hello, uh, my name is Barbie Bloodstein, and I have the privilege and uh, wonderful opportunity of interviewing my mother, Isabel Polachek, today, May 17th, 2005. Uh, Mom, we're going to be very relaxed and just hear your story. I'd like to begin by asking you um, your name and where you were born. My name is Isabel Rosenberg Polachek. I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, we talked earlier, um, mm -hmm. do you know who the first uh, member of your family was to come to this country? My, da my dad. And his name was? Armin Rosenberg. And he didn't settle in Milwaukee at first, he settled in Cleveland? Yeah, I think it was Cleveland. And who were his two brothers? Uh, Sam and Joe. And, and Ben. And three, ben. three. Oh, three brothers. Three, three. And, um, it's good thing I remember them. They came here, um, do you have a reason? Were the, was their family just migrating here or they no, came? I just think the, the uh, four boys just came and uh, dad was the oldest. No, no, I think Ben was the oldest, then Sam, then dad, and Uncle Joe was a bachelor. The and where did he meet your mother? Where I think he met her in, in Chicago where mother was born. And her name was? Clara Munzer. And she was born in Chicago. Okay. And they married and uh, immediately came to Milwaukee after yeah, they got I married. No, I wasn't around. Okay, fine. But you grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But whereabouts? Park uh, Stoll Avenue, uh, not too far from the lake. Uh, Stoll and Park Avenue, near the normal school where I went when I was all through grade school. So you went through grade school to the normal school. Well, first that was of all, Herbie's. Parents. Okay, you want to talk about yes, my yes. father, fine. But just a little bit. Okay. Um, um, but we were sort of doing this in progression, you know. Oh, oh. You graduate, go to grade school. Where did you go to grade school? I went to Milwaukee Normal Training School. And then high school? <laughs> you, you, Milwaukee University School. Right. And then you, when you finished high school, you didn't meet my father then. You... I might have. Well, okay. I guess... There, our, our parents were very, very good friends. And I then you went to college. Your well, first, the first college you went to was? Well, not the first college. Yes, I went to Sophie Newcomb in New Orleans. Okay, and then? Yes. Yes. I just have We're going to get to Dad's Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so you, your parents were friends of the Polichets. Right. Right. And All the politics. Right. And you and met there are lots yeah, of politics. You met my father whose name was Herbert. And where did his parents come from? His mother was born in Valparaiso, Indiana, and his father was born in Tish Mills, Wisconsin. Right. Wisconsin. And he was a, he had many siblings. Uh, Rudy. His uh, name was Rudy. He, uh, no no, his father his, oh, his yes. father's name was yes, Rudy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he and both of my grandmother's names were Clara. Right. Okay. So then you, the neighborhood that you grew up in, did you feel that there was anything Jewish about Shorewood? Never. Not at all? Not okay. at all. Did you feel in any way there was any discrimination um, about Jewish experiences? I, there weren't any other Jews around. Well, I don't know. There, but was, you, there wasn't any to us. But your parents belonged to a temple. Right. Where did they go yes. to temple? Where? They went to Emmanuel. Okay, on right on Kennedy. And did they go often, or what was yeah, Jewish? We went. What was Jewish about your growing up, Mom? Well, we, we observed all the holidays, and um, um, and we went to temple. Okay. And Mother was president of the, of the National uh, Council National Council of Jewish Women. Right. She walked to Mark to Washington to meet Mrs. Roosevelt, and uh, well, we and most of our their friends and most of my friends. I would say were Jewish at that time, but they didn't happen to live in the neighborhood. And the country club that they belonged to was which, Woodmont Country Club, and it was all Jewish. Yeah. And you told me um, as we were talking earlier that there were particular kinds of Jewish people who belonged to Woodmont. Well, they were. I think most of them were from either Germany or Hungary, or Austria, or Poland. And it was a golf club. Just a golf club. Right. Well, that's all they're right. right. It was, uh, 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 they had cottages, and uh, they, oh, there was, a, there was a polo field or something across the street. Did but you learn to play golf there? Is that where you learned yeah. to play golf? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. But the, there was um, uh, just nine holes in the beginning. Then I think they got together and they had 18 holes. Mm -hmm. And um, then I think one time it burned down or something, and then one time the depression. And then people were moving. I suppose most of the members were lived on the west side. And this was on the west side. And uh, I had to take the streetcar out there when I was a kid. So then you met my father, and you got married, uh, and his name was Herbert Polachek. Um, and how many children did you have? I had two <laughs> wonderful, marvelous, beautiful, okay. super, divine. Good, good. Really, 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 really. Okay, and what's really, my brother? Really, really, right. really, really. Th right. Mother. Mother. Yes. Okay, um, and I have a brother named Jerry, because of my brother Jerry. My brother died when he was 21, and I was bound, well, I was, yes, Jerry. And you had a sister also who has yes, since Ruth. passed away. Right. Ruth, what was her married name? Peerless. Okay. Yes. So then, we're shaking our heads off. Jerry yeah. and I grew up in Milwaukee. Yes. And what did you do while we were growing up? What I mean, what did, did you do? volunteer, how did you volunteer? What did you do in the community? In the community when I was growing up? When I was growing when up. you were growing up. We did everything. We, you walked with me with all the uh, Red Cross and, and Girl Scouts and all all the things. And I was I worked at uh, Columbia and, and uh, Mount Sinai Hospitals. I was a volunteer everywhere. You volunteered at the art museum. Yes, when it was on Jefferson Street. And do you remember about Mom when you got involved in the Peace Corps? Right when when Shriver started, when Kennedy started, okay. and, and Shriver. And that was a big involvement of yours, the Peace Corps. Very, very much. And I, at first, I, had, I was get, uh, being an artist. I was the Grandma Moses of Fox Point. Oh, no. I'd moved to Fox Point by that time. Right. Incidentally, we moved from Stowell twice, and then we moved to Fox Point, and that's where I was the Grandma Moses of Fox Point. And then, well, we lived there for about 31 years, and you accompanied me on all the, on the welfare thing. And I was a member of CAMP. A Children's Outing Children's Association, Outings right, COA. Well. And uh, what else? Well, and then you did your painting and you did, did volunteer work. Yes. Um, and you and my dad, uh, what congregation did you belong to? Emmanuel. No, when, well, when, and then you joined. Oh, well, you were founding members of? Of Sinai. Congregation Sinai. Congregation Sinai. With, and then you also joined the New Country Club. Woodmont. Oh yes, yes, yes. We had to, I guess. Didn't Woodmont burn think, down? No, I don't. I don't know oh. if it burned down if they lost it. I think the depression came along, and everybody, as I say, moved to the east side, okay. and that's where we. And then they. And and Brynwood was a semi something, semi um, private and. Uh, no, it was really a, a public golf course there. Brynwood. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then um, my dad, unfortunately, passed away, and you got involved. But first of all, he was a oh. scratch handicapper. Yes, right. he was. Jerry. And he also worked, and then your father oh. started a knitting business, right. which with, was called. With his brothers. Right, which was called. Reliable. Okay. Yeah, then it was just called Reliable Knitting Work. And then did my father joined Reliable. Yes, after a little bit of time. Well, he yeah. worked for his father. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Rudy was a tailor, like all the politics, a bunch of politics were tailors and uh, uh, on Wisconsin, Wisconsin Avenue. Right. And right, then right. he right. left his father and right. went to work for, for my your father. father. Okay. Yes. And, and then, unfortunately, when he passed away, you got involved in the business. Yep. Shortly after he... Right away. Okay, right away. Yeah. And what and what is your but role? But that was alive? 35 years ago. I understand. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Want to tell us a little bit about the purse? Well, I do not ever buy anything. I only wear old clothes, and that's the reason for. But my old clothes are pretty good because Herbie bought this 30, about 40 years ago, and now they're the, the thing. And all my clothes, and I wear weird stockings because then people don't have to look at my old suits, which I are now so long for me because I've lost two inches in, in age. So they only look at my legs 
and uh, my purses, and then they don't have to look at my old suits, so I don't have to shop. So 35, for 35 years, you've been involved in the business community. You have and the president. And volunteer, yeah. Right. You became, but Everybody. you are the president of Reliable Knitting. Right. And through that, you joined organizations like Thousands. Rotary. Rotary. Dad was in, Jerry was in, Morty was in. Rotary, I was the third, fourth woman in Rotary 15 years ago. And now I, I was interested in the opera, the ballet, the zoo, loved the zoo, the museum, our public museum, and um, uh, well, and you traveled. Ju junior, and didn't you junior achievement, right. uh, all, all, all the organizations in town. The and the medical college and all the, every, every organization. And when you traveled, uh, Mom, didn't you uh, look for fashion things for Reliable? Didn't you yes, feel? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, so that, how did you contribute to this business? Well, mostly PR work, because I went to every meeting in the world, because I was a member of all these organizations. And I, I didn't steal anything, but I copied everything that looked good. And I had one very good children's thing. Of course, in those good old days, Barbie, but not good old days, but the war, and we were we made the hats for the for the soldiers, Marines, and the Navy, and uh, and and big. And I won't mention any stores. You can those. mention stores. No, I won't mention okay. stores. <laughs> okay, Ed, but then you did help by the bringing back ideas for fashion, and yes. uh, then um, in uh, 1961. Uh, my husband joined the company. Right. His name is Morty Bloodstein. And then uh, about five years later, your son Jerry joined. Yes. And so, and now my son, both Mark. sons are there. Right. Mark and Danny. Mark and Danny. And then Jerry's son. And so Jeffrey. we are now on the fourth generation at right. this company. And some of our employees are third generation. We speak well of us. Our treatment of our employees. Exactly. Dad used to make soup for them, and uh, now we make coffee and right. sandwiches. Well, and then, Mom, um, I think a very important thing mm. that you did was the involvement in the Third Ward. Yes. Because the factory is on in the Third Ward. So do you want to tell a little bit about the Third Ward? Well, they were going to move a lot, of, uh, make a combat area out of the Third Ward district, and uh, we had just moved, and we had three shifts of ladies mostly and and they were being harassed in those days and uh, I fought City Hall and beat them because we have a sort of a what do you call it Barbie on the top uh, a penthouse penthouse and uh, it has a garden and it's a great place to entertain and we entertain all the everybody into all the good people in town uh, or the, all the organizations and the universities and the hospitals, and we had all, and we were nobodies at all, anybody's, but uh, we had all the bank presidents and all the presidents of all the other organizations, and then we beat City Hall because they didn't have the combat area that they and were the moving third ward from. Is, and the Third Ward Association was formed, and well, and, then and you stayed you stayed involved with that for very much. quite a while. Right. Um, and now uh, yeah. you have moved out of your home, and you're, yeah. where are you living now? Well, first I first I moved from Fox Point to Mequon, and I lived at Cedar Gables for 31 years. And now where am I living in? <laughs> living at Newcastle. Newcastle, yeah. In Mequon. In Mequon. But yeah. you're still working, still yes, working at the factory. Except with the, the terrible <laughs> traffic problems. Yes, I'm still working. Um, are there, were there, in your travels, did you ever go to Israel? I went to every country that wasn't cold. I went around the world for three months and uh, alone. I did all my traveling alone. Nobody wanted to travel with me. And I traveled all around the world, any country and every country, not for a day or two, but for weeks and weeks and did my art and buying, mostly just, just art, just art. Well, that's, I think that's a very important part of your life. Not only were you an artist, but you also collected art. So what, what kind of art did you like to collect? I love folk art, all folk art. And have you, do you think, well, you, um, 
And you have that still with you, the, the folk art. Yes, I and do. And you plan to donate some of that down the road. Yes, I do. Okay, um, but that you've enjoyed that. Oh, I loved it. Okay, um, is there anything else that you want to say that in terms of your travels when you went to Israel? Uh, was that a, a wonderful experience for yes, you? Yes, yes. Uh, we, I went with a, something from New York. The, who could I have gone with? Well, you know. Well, anyway, um, well, one of the Jewish, maybe it was AJ. AJC. No, no, no. Because oh. I, I think it was almost all New York, and we stayed. In fact, we were about, oh, oh I spent uh, my first birthday without Herbie with, uh, well, who was, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Barbie, I forget her name. Who was the, the lady from Israel and Milwaukee? Golda Meir. Golda Meir. And she kissed me. I was with her all day long, and I cried and cried and cried and cried. But she kissed me, and I have a great picture of Golda and me well, on my birthday. Well, you also told me that one thing you wanted to mention here was something about Abba Eben. You had an oh, experience yes. with Abba Eben in oh, Milwaukee? Yes. Well, uh, somebody, they, they wanted to have, they needed to have, because of a tax purpose or something, uh, two women whose husband hadn't been previous members of the Milwaukee Club. And uh, one of the gentlemen uh, said, you got to join because Catherine Clary, who of course was bright and wonderful, and she, she had never married and she didn't have a husband, and they wanted the two of us to join. And I didn't know because in those days Jews weren't particularly loved or even wanted to uh, be invited to the Milwaukee Club. So I didn't know who to ask, and I was uh, a member of Tempo, a ladies' business organization, and um, I was on the podium because they needed a Jewish lady, and Abba Eben was the guest speaker. And I thought, oh, he knows everything about Israel. I don't have to talk to him about Israel. I'm going to ask him if I should join this club that doesn't allow Jewish anybody's. And he said, yes, Isabel. And I did. And there are a lot of Jewish people that followed as in with Barbie. Barbie was in the Junior League, and there weren't too many. And by golly, now they are. And, well, uh, great, and I still, uh, it, it, it was a very great experience, and I made a lot of friends out of it. Um, Mom, you also supported UWM. You got I very sure involved did. at UWM. Well, and I'm on the foundation. Okay. Yep, yep. And, uh, uh, well, any of the other the organizations, I've really, truly worked hard for. Marquette right. and uh, well, Father the Haggerty, Haggerty, right. and 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 uh, but Katie, your Katie Gingrass, because I have to mention, because Barbie works at Katie Gingrass. Yes, yes, yes. But yes, Mom, your do, experience Barbie. in terms of a Jewish person in oh, oh. who's lived 91 years, right? What what do you see different today in terms of your own lifestyle that you think you maybe your mother wouldn't have? Uh, I mean, do you think that there's mother anything? Mother was a big, big, big. Well, she was wonderful to the refugees uh, during the, after the war, and she brought over. She started some bakery on Downer Avenue for some refugees, and we. I know you. We always went to their homes with clothes and and uh, for everything for them, and she was a a joiner. Mother was is very um, well, and you also. Yeah. Okay. And Ruth was too. All right. And uh, you are too. Right. Well, and I Jerry think your experience. Isn't. I think your experience at uh, Sinai has been a pot, congregation Sinai. I mean, you've certainly seen the reform movement change. I know that's a issue for you. We don't really have to discuss now. <laughs> But I know that you, you, well, know, you stayed program. a member. You stayed a member. Yes, of course. And supported yeah. Rabbi Brickman. Right, right. And, uh, yes, I did that. So, uh, is there anything else you'd like to, to say about your experience, or how much your, time do we have? No, we as long as you want. Oh no, uh, no. I I think I think Milwaukee is uh, a, a great place to live. The best part about Milwaukee is. But your friends, I mean, instead of computers and cell phones or whatever they're called or anything, we had friends, and they stayed your friends. And um, uh, I had my 90th birthday last year, and I think there were 320 people, all of which I had gone to grade school with. And in fact, one of the dear, per I won't mention names about any of the wonderful people, but one stood up and said, 
I've known this lady for 80 years because she was in my mother's stomach. I do really always know all the children, and now I'm older than all the grandparents because I'm older than anybody in the world. And uh, but my children, my children, and my grandchildren. I've got great, great. I've got six grandchildren and six great grandchildren, and they're all wonderful, marvelous, handsome, beautiful, bright, darling. Well, you're, you're both your children live in Milwaukee, so we're glad to have you here too. Oh, I'm so happy to. Okay, thank <laughs> my, you. My, my Barbara is getting right, ready to leave. Okay, I'm very happy to be in Milwaukee, kind of Barbie okay. and Jerry and all my family. Good, thank you very much, <laughs> Mother. You did a great job. <laughs> okay. okay.